director of our team commit to be fully dedicated to and available for our clients' needs, which also goes down to even our trainees. We are fully dedicated to all the trainees that come in to join IT solutions and trust us to take training with us to have us prepare them for the corporate world. Innovation, we are trailblazers committed to bringing excellence and creativity to the solutions we provide for our clients. Professionalism, we always put the job first and commit to living up to and exceeding industry standards. This is very important for us. Expertise, we are committed to being the best and being at the forefront of innovation within the industry. All these four core values helps join IT solutions stand out in the field of training, in the field of IT, and most precisely in the field of SQL Server and Azure trainings. Now, in Join IT Solutions, we have a whole host of instructors, and we have uh, most of our in all most of our instructors are all certified with years of experience. For example, the instructor which we are going to be having today is a premier technical and instructional expert who has done a lot of certifications and meets all the requirements, not only for um, uh, instructing in a classroom setting, but also for mentoring and making sure that you have all the information that you need as you go forward in your career. So as you can see here, our vision is to be the leading gateway for IT training and services for professionals and businesses all over the world. Our mission is to train and equip IT professionals with cutting edge skills that are needed to survive and thrive in the fast changing IT economy and to provide organizations with skills and solutions that will drive innovation and operational experience. Excellence. sorry about that. So with that said, I would first of all like to introduce myself I, my name is Alain Four. I'm one of the instructors and facilitators here at Join IT Solutions. And I have my other instructors here as well who are gonna be telling you more about themselves. I am a certified database administrator and I took this training with another institution and I've been working with Join IT Solutions very, very closely for the past three, to four months and Brian was my instructor all throughout my course. So I can give you not only, uh, I cannot only vouch for Brian, but I can say that I have known this instructor and I know that for sure what you're gonna get from this course is utmost professionalism and knowledge that is not rivaled by any other institution out there. Okay, with that said, I would like um, our other facilitators to say a word we would like to begin with Mr. Akum. Please introduce yourself to the uh, trainees here or the, uh, the, the uh, people taking the course so that they can uh, know uh, you better. And from Mr. Akum, we'll go to the next facilitator. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Alain. And good evening to us all. I mean, it's a pleasure I mean, meeting you all and uh, I guess we have one month to interact together. Um, I'm going to be your colleague as far as this training is concerned, but I'm one of the trainers uh, on Join IT platform. Um, yes, Brian was my uh, instructor as far as SQL Server was concerned. And I mean, uh, we had some good times interacting together. And now I have the opportunity to put those skill sets, I mean, in the corporate world. But uh, for the time being in the corporate world, I've always known that uh, the cloud computing is the way to go. In fact, my managers have been talking to me about this and saying the company is planning to train us on this, but in the future. So I thought it wise to take that bold step to train myself, I mean, be ahead of them. And I really want to appreciate this gesture, this initiative of Join IT to come out with a course like this, because this will really give one an insight into cloud computing. I mean, before you even make that decision to fully engage with the detailed course that will be coming up in three months' time, I think sometimes in February of next year. So I just want to thank uh, Join IT, to thank uh, Brian, 
and the rest of the team for this initiative and to say it's a very good one. This is something rare you find on other platforms, on other training platforms. Usually they'll just jump into the training proper, but to have designed a course like this, which that gives you one a detailed insight into cloud computing, I think is very, very important. And uh, I think it will be very helpful and I think it will be very enjoyable. And I look forward to spending that time on this platform to learn cloud computing with you and also to, I mean, to interact with the rest of uh, the trainees on this platform and any other person. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Akum. Uh, very well said. Uh, Mr. Galabe, please, if you could go ahead. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Allen. Uh, welcome everyone on board. Uh, my name is uh, Emmanuel Galabe, and uh, I've been uh, SQL Server Database Administration for close to a year now, but uh, with over 10 years of experience in the field. <laughs> and you know, you all know where the experience is coming from. That's interacting with people like Brian, you know, and others who have been in the field. So if I post myself with 10 years of experience, that is because I have been moving around with people who have been in the field and have done a lot. And that is even the main reason I, I was able to, first of all, get that job because that job required so much years of experience. Well, what am I driving at? What I'm driving at is that, uh, hey, I started this course just like everyone here has come in, uh, you know, a flyer is out there, Azure, come and see, come and learn, and, you know, you're just curious what that is and stuff like that. But when you get in, you realize the beauty in IT, you realize that you meet people, you know, uh, who are willing and able and capable of taking you from scratch to, you know, put you that position where you have that experience that is needed. So when I joined this with encouragement from Brian, because he had already taken the training and uh, he, he was looking for a job when he was encouraging me to join and he finally got the job. And then I was like, you know, maybe nursing was the way, but things didn't go right. And I'm like, I'll give a second thought. And when I came to the uh, Tech, which is the institution that he was in before, and uh, we had uh, courses and on the back end, he was there giving us tutorials and, you know, as a personal friend, I worked with him and, you know, got to get a lot of stuff from him, you know, to, to boast myself. And when I finished this, hey, what happened? Immediate interview, I got an offer. So, I mean, I'm grateful that, you know, when you meet people like that who are ready to give back to the community, because I call this giving back to the community. You know, we have other races out there that have done this and are exceeding. And sometimes, let's say we of the other race, we're jealous of them, but we don't have to be. We're supposed to be, uh, you know, collective empowerment, you know, and I like what he's doing. And uh, uh, he has brought in cloud. Hey, what is cloud? Everybody is moving towards the cloud. Now, it doesn't matter what job you are doing. You need to understand the concept of cloud computing. And uh, even the IT, even if you are like uh, a manager, you are supposed to understand what the cloud is because at a point in time, you're going to have to, you know, talk on project or, you know, reach out to people, you know, performing activities or, or tasks using the cloud platform. What if your company is going there? So almost everybody really needs to understand what cloud computing is because that is the way forward for most companies out there. So grab this opportunity come curious like i came and I, I i bet you by the time you finish with this you're gonna want to remain here to gather more knowledge and why not make a career uh in the it field brian is very good at that they're gonna take you from scratch and they're gonna push you through constant push it's gonna be constant push until you get there don't say you don't have any knowledge you don't have any background hey at the end of this, you're going to realize that you didn't need prior knowledge to, you know, enroll in this course. So good luck to everyone out there. Stay committed and believe in, you know, uh, the capacity of the person you have in front of you to instruct you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Galabi and uh, Mr. Akum. I would just really like to add very briefly, uh, Brian is someone who has constantly empowered, inspired, and trained 
most of the DBAs that you'll be seeing in, uh, throughout this course. I personally just started a new role as a DBA, but I will tell you that eight months ago, I knew nothing about SQL Server Database Administration. So please, I would implore you to take this course very seriously. Brian has personally made sure that he has his personal touch on these courses, uh, tune them for the way that it's going to be exactly what you need, what you need to be able to be competitive in the current cloud platform. So with that said, I would like now to introduce um, uh, the CEO and the instructor of this course, CEO of Join IT Solutions, uh, Brian Chongwine, and he is going to take over from here. Thank you so much, uh, Alan. Thank you so much, team. And uh, again, thanks for giving me that opportunity. So uh, if you will let me share my screen, Alan, I will do that. Perfect. So thank you all. Like a lot has been said, my name is uh, Brian Chongwine. You know, I'm an instructor. I'm gonna be with you throughout this course. Uh, a little bit about me, you know, let me share my screen here. Ooh, this technology. Okay, can anyone see my screen? Yes. Perfect. So, I am Brian Changwai. I'm a, the CEO of Join IT. You know, we all work as a team to be able to help you all get into IT. I have been in the IT field for quite some time. I started this back home where I used to work uh, the Cameroonian Cooperative Credit Union League. Come up, that's come cool. And um, I did more of help decks. So when I came over to the US, you know, the ultimate goal as we all, when you get here to tell you is nursing. I started a nursing course. I used to work as a CNA and a very good friend of mine, a mentor to me, uh, I always give credit to him, Dr. Dennis Kiawi. Uh, he introduced me to, you know, database administrator and it was over a phone call. So uh, I was able to train with him. I got a job, I instructed there. And uh, you know, growth is something that uh, we cannot fight. Uh, so I came up with a group of people to bring uh, join IT to be able to help Dr. Dennis train other people. So uh, within these years, I've been a database administrator. I've been a trainer. I am a Microsoft certified trainer. If you see on the screen, a couple of certifications that I got here, I'm a Microsoft uh, database administrator certified a Microsoft Certified Solution Expert, Azure Administrator, you know, uh, SQL Server Administrator, Azure Admin, and a host of others. So that is just to tell you how committed I am to transfer the knowledge that I learned and help you all get into the IT field. So I would have loved to go through uh, all those uh, present to ask about yourself, but I will just keep this for the first day of class. We'll do some sort of introduction so we can know you, know your level of IT or, you know, anything that might be needed for us to know. So let me talk a little bit about this course. So we all have been hearing about the IT field. There is one thing that always drives people away. IT is too broad. You hear about the IT field, you don't know what route to take. So join IT solutions. We have courses that we have program them to be able to start our trainees from the base to become experts in a lot of fields that we all are gonna be talking about. So this is one of our basic courses that we have to be able to train you, give you the fundamentals of cloud computing. Like Galabi mentioned, a lot of companies now are migrating their information to the cloud. They are migrating these workloads in the cloud. So in the next 10 years, most of these on-premise things, you are not gonna see them. And we're gonna talk about what an on-prem environment is. So it is important that you start building your knowledge. If you are somebody just new in the IT field or you have not done anything IT, this is a fundamental course for you to take because it's gonna open your mind and prepare you for other courses that we're gonna be offering at IT. I wanna state it categorically clear that with this course, we are not gonna train you and tell that, hey, go out there and get a job. 
This is a very fundamental cause to build that foundation, to take away that fear that I don't want to do IT because it is difficult. So this one, this course has been designed to gradually get you all in, those who are newbies, get you in to start taking other courses here at Join IT. And believe me, it is a very interesting course. After it, you really love it. Uh, another key thing that I want to talk about is throughout these four weeks that we're going to spend together, right? The course is going to provide you the fundamental knowledge on cloud concept, core Azure services, security, and all of these things might sound confusing now, but the first day of class when you're leaving, you understand everything that you, you're seeing on this slide. So who are those uh, that we are target, targeting with this course? We are looking at beginners, right? Those who want to learn about cloud computing, those who want to learn about IT generally, those who just want to build themselves, improve you know, your resume, let it be like, hey, you are having a future towards the cloud. So the content of this course aligns with the AZ-900 exam objectives. We train these as certified trainers, as a Microsoft certified trainer, all of our content that we provide here are coming from Microsoft and they, are, they align with you taking the AZ-900 certification. Come to think of it, if you spend your four weeks in the month of December and you end up having just one certificate, right? It will mean a lot to you. It will give you that push. I wanna tell you my first fundamental certificate that I took was in 2018. And that pushed me into IT. I was so excited that, hey, you know what? If I can write a certification exam in the US and pass, then I can do a lot of stuff. So that really pushed me. And today I'm talking about certifications that are taken within a space of two years, a lot of them. I'm an expert, not that I know, but because I push myself to learn and I've associated myself with people who encourage me to learn. People like Alain, the way he talks, he will tell you that if I am an instructor and I don't study hard, he's gonna challenge me in class. Akum, Galabi. So I make sure that I learn to update my skills. The next thing, there is no prerequisite for this course. As long as you are determined to learn, then that is all you need. That is all you need. You need your computer and an internet connection to be able to connect with us live and learn. So. I also want to say something about the power of information. Some of us, we did not know about cloud computing. We don't know what IT is all about. So just attending this orientation today is the first step. You getting that information is going to help you to be able to decide on what route you have to take. So why are we really doing this? We are doing this because our other courses that we offer here, like the SQL Server Database Administrator, course and the Azure Database Administrator course. A lot of people come into that course and they are a little bit behind because they lack some basic fundamental knowledge. So we are bringing in this to start building that foundation. So throughout this course, this is what you're going to be learning. You'll learn the concept of cloud computing. You understand what are the various Azure services. You understand core solutions and management tools within Azure. And uh, you understand what is security and the net, how to secure environment, your Azure environment. You also learn about identity and governance, how to log, like how to manage your logins on these virtual machines, how to do a lot of stuff. And above all, you will learn Azure course management. By the end of this training, you'll be able to log into your account in Azure, build a virtual machine, store your files in Azure, and actually see the beauty in cloud computing. So, like I said, we are preparing you to have your first certification in 2020. I don't care if you don't, if you have not accomplished one thing in 2020, let this be your number one goal. Let this be a priority for you to accomplish, right? Get this fundamental knowledge and it will help you and pave the way for a successful 2021. So throughout, these are the various things that we're gonna learn in preparation for our certification. You'll learn about the cloud concept and the exam scores between 20 to 25% Azure services. So these are the various grades. I'm not gonna spend more time on this because we'll do this uh, on our first day in class and when we are actually preparing for the certification. I know a lot of you have questions. I'm gonna give you time for questions at the end of this. We intend to be here for less than an hour. So one next. When you look at the IT field and you look at cloud computing, Right, there is always that starting point. And looking at the picture on the screen, the 
fundamental courses are very good, especially for those who don't have that IT knowledge. If you are trying to get into IT, somebody cannot just tell you, hey, come, I'm going to teach you solutions architect. If you don't have some fundamental knowledge, some people do it, it works, but it will be best to prepare yourself very well before you get in. And that is why Join IT is trying to start by laying that solid foundation for anyone who is coming in. We are so passionate about this. We know that it is something that has worked for us and it is going to work for you. So from the Azure Fundamental Certification, you can start thinking of anything. I will give you the roadmap of our courses here at Join IT and what route you should take. So some advantages for you taking this course are it will, this course will introduce you to the world of information technology, especially for those who have not been in the IT field, who are not very you know, uh, knowledgeable about the IT field. This will be a solid introduction to you. It will introduce you to cloud computing, which is a future, like we said earlier. It will pave the way for better and bigger opportunities because there is always a starting point. When you start here and you keep going, you keep following our instructions, then you discover that you have bigger things ahead of you to accomplish. The next thing will prepare you for other courses here at Join IT. That is our focus. We wonder when, when you are done taking this course, you'll be motivated, you'll be pushed to go now and take our database administration course, move from there and become an Azure database administrator. So we are trying to build a good transition roadmap so everyone can come in, start from step one, and at the end of the year, you are very confident in going for interviews and securing a job. So you add more weight on your resume for those who are already in the job market. If you're already in the IT field, those who have completed our database administration training and they are in the IT field, you know, trying to get a job, put in this certification in your resume. Most of the times when you go for an interview, they ask you, are you doing like, what is your experience in cloud computing? You at this moment does, uh, do not really have enough experience, but just telling them that I have just engaged in a cloud course and I have my Azure fundamental. My goal is to start building on that Azure fundamental certification that I have. It gives the company that view that, hey, this guy is actually looking to the future and it will add you an extra step on your resume. There is no certification that is too little. So just a little bit. Are we all doing okay? Can anyone hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes we can, Brian. Go ahead, please. Okay, perfect, perfect. I didn't let that break, right? <laughs> that was too much information. And the good thing is you're gonna have this record for those who apply for the course, you have this record so you can go over. So why uh, are companies moving their workloads to the cloud, right? When you come into this course, you start learning things like on-premise environment. Right, just like uh, I, most of you work, you may go to an office to work or you go to a nursing home or whatsoever, that's your working environment, right? Uh, your company definitely has like a, a room, let me call it for now a room where they have computers. They have millions, thousands, tens of computers, depending on the size of your company. So with companies, one of the things that is happening is they need space to see all of these computers. They need physical storage. They need security. They need a lot of things to secure the offices that have all of these computers. But now, why do we do cloud computing or why is cloud computing very important? It saves you the need you know, for having physical servers, being worried about a disaster that might occur, flooding can occur in Houston and take away your servers and a lot of stuff. All you need is just one computer to sit and access your resources in the cloud. By the way, when we talk of a computer, there are key things that come into our mind. You're talking about storage, you're talking about applications, you're talking about compute, and you're talking about networking. Because a computer basically just accepts input, processes the input, and present you an output. Right? So that is what basically a computer is. On-premise, all of these things are there. But now, when we are looking at cloud computing, we are looking at how can we accomplish the services now in the cloud. The same thing that computers in an office will do is the same thing that computers in the cloud will do. But now there are a lot of benefits moving computers to the cloud. So what is cloud computing all about? Again, this is just for the sake of this orientation. When we go to the actual class, this is going to be more slower and it will be in a way that you will understand it better. So 
cloud computing is a deli uh, is just delivering all of these services that I have mentioned: storage, compute, networking, applications. You know, just deliver delivering them to you in the cloud, so that you can actually just log in on your one computer and access all your files in the cloud. At that point, the cloud provider will actually be the one in charge of security and managing all of those for you. Somebody will ask me, does it mean that there is somewhere in the sky where all of this lie? No, there is nowhere in the sky, right? So cloud computing, what happened is cloud providers, they have huge data centers with very huge computers, very huge machines that they can, they have built, everything is okay and secure. And they just tell you, hey, you want a virtual machine, you can use one of these our servers at this location and create your virtual machine. From the internet, you'll be able to access that virtual machine. From the internet, you'll be able to access that computer. So that is what it is all about. So looking at this slide, if you have 50 computers, I'm gonna take this a little bit back and I will, I'm gonna do this if you don't mind. I hope you all still see my screen. Yes, we do. Okay, so this is what cloud computing is all about. All of these services, applications, databases, servers, compute, everything, they are in the cloud. And if I have a company, if Joint IT Solution today is a company of 50 servers, right? All I need to do, I don't need to go and buy an office that will accommodate all of my 50 servers. I don't need to do that. I can have just my one computer here on this, my one device, and I build my servers in the cloud. I'll be able to sit at home in my one little office and have access to all of these, my servers. So you see here, it is saving me a lot. I don't need to worry about the physical security of all of this. I don't need to worry about storage. I don't need to worry about uh, air conditioning in the offices that these computers are gonna reside. So those are some of the advantages of cloud computing, and that is the future. Many companies are adopting this and it is really gonna help you if you start building that foundation now. It is never too late, right? We say at Joint IT, just get started, right? So, oops, sorry, that has to change. One moment. Okay. So there are various cloud providers, right? You have Azure, which is Microsoft. You have AWS, which is owned by Amazon. You have Google Cloud that is owned by Google. You have IBM and you have others. These are the key ones that you have out there, Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. So any of these will help you, but a joint IT solution, we are more Microsoft inclined. We like to do, or we do most of Microsoft stuff. Like even our database course is Microsoft SQL Server Database Administration. It has worked for us and we will tell you the advantages of that any day, uh, probably not today, right? So let me take you to the next thing. What is the training path here at Joint IT? As of today, you all are here. On the very bottom of the screen, you have route zero. Right, meaning that you're coming in, you don't know anything. You wanna start with computer basics. You wanna start with the Azure fundamental. This is gonna prepare you. So it is an entry point for every beginner, right? It prepares you for other courses. Yeah, uh, the course duration is 24 hours. That is a month, four weeks. We try to make it four weeks for you to accomplish something. The course is starting today because this is the orientation. Then from this Azure fundamental, what next can you do? You can go here to the to my to the very right. I don't know how you see it of the screen where you have Microsoft MS SQL Server Hands on Database Administration. You can take that course. That is a six months intensive SQL DBA course that will prepare you to study how to administer relational databases, how to administer Microsoft SQL Server, and this is where you're gonna land that first job, right? When you take route one from route zero, you go to route one you take that course. Then from round one now, this is where most of our students, our pioneer, I call them the pioneer batch of joint IT. Those who are in the job market now, this is where they are. Most of them, they already have their jobs, but now they need to improve their skills. They need to improve their skills. So what, what do they need to do now? They need to take the route two, which will be to take them to an Azure database administrator. This is all about the cloud. 
here, if you are working at this level, you're making below a thousand, uh, one hundred thousand dollars annually. But once you get past this level and you're on an Azure DBA, you're talking now about six figures. I always don't like trainees to concentrate about the money. I wanted to concentrate about the knowledge because once you have the knowledge and the skills, the money aspect of it is going to be so easy. You only get challenges when you come into the program and you're thinking only about the money and you don't want to learn, you don't want to do your assignments, you don't want to do group work, you don't want to interact with other trainees, right? There you have an issue if you're thinking just about the money. We give you that mindset to learn the concept, do the hands-on, be able to defend yourself that I have learned how to create a virtual machine in the cloud. I have learned how to install SQL Server. I have learned what a computer network is. That is what we concentrate on, not the money part of it. So when you come into any of our trainings, the first few months until you graduate, that is when we start talking about this is how much they're gonna be making, start working on your resume and stuff like that. So these are the various training parts. What does this mean to you? Today, you are taking the Azure Fundamental training and it's gonna be done by the end of December. We wanna encourage you that just go ahead and prepare yourself our next training for SQL Server Database Administrator is going to start February 15. So we are hoping that you all will take this course with us so that from here you'll start growing. Then after February 15, when you're in the job market, you can start learning now to be an actual Azure Database Administrator. So this Route 2 here, which is just a direct path from Route 0 to Route 2, is basically for those who did not take the MS SQL Server Database Administration training with us. It does not mean that you can leave here and go here directly. You need to at least be a database administrator on-prem. You need to at least have completed a SQL Server training somewhere else before you can move from Route 0 up yeah. to Route 2. Exactly. Okay. So, other info. The course we are talking about today, which is our Azure Fundamental course, it is a four-week uh, class. It's going to be two days a week. It's going to be two to three hours a day. We're going to decide what the class schedule is going to be today. I'm going to give you a couple of days for you all to go to the chart and type what days you want. Then we're going to plan on the start date. Originally, we plan on starting this tomorrow, but we'll go with the majority of you here. That is how we draw our schedule. We want to know what works for the majority so we can prepare uh, appropriately. The training fee for this class, for this class is $300. And uh, like I said, at Join IT, it is not all about the money. Our goal is to learn and teach you people. Our goal is to learn and make sure that we get as many people as we can in the IT field. So the $300 here is the first week of training, you are not entitled to make any payment. Just come in, learn those basics. And if it is something that you really want to do, then you go ahead and you make that commitment to pay $300, right? Then, uh, so payment is only due from the second week. So if we decide that classes are going to start tomorrow and classes are going to be on Saturdays and Sundays, you are not paying anything this week. Come attend the first two classes. If you really like it, and I hope for the most part, students always like it. Then the next week, you have to pay uh, for your training, your training fee. What do you need? Just a computer, right? Or a laptop, Those will be a computer. I mean, a laptop or internet, right? Just disregard that. And we're going to provide each and every one of you the material. We're going to provide you the, the material that you have to be reading. There are questions that you answer. We don't focus so much on the certification part. We focus on the hands-on to build that foundation knowledge. At the end of your training now, we can tell you, hey, register for this certification and go write it. So that is how we operate here at Join IT. I think this is the best time for me to take questions and attempt an answer to all of your questions and permit me to stop sharing. Perfect. Was that too much information? It's kind of a small school. Mm. Eileen. So, oh. Yeah, I will just take a couple of questions, then uh, we'll move from there. Any questions? Are we all good? Yes, sir. We're good for now. 
Yeah, we are good. I think that it's clear for now. Mm, it's clear for now. Um, Brian. Yes. Uh, when is the uh, actual uh, Azure the level two class going to start? So we're going to program that is going to be starting around uh, January, March of next year, March, April of next year. Oh, okay. Yes. By then, I know you should have completed your MS SQL training and you're in the job market. So yeah, you can definitely take that uh, take that class when you start. When you start. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So I'm going to do this for those who are really uh, who have already made up their mind to take this class. I'm going to send a link here on the chart for you to uh, fill out the, just click on that link, fill out the application form, you know, so we can get your information as to, and start sending you material in a, that you can start uh, preparing for. So I'm sending this link in the chart. Just open that if, if you haven't filled out the application form, do that. Then uh, I'm also going to send uh, the days, the days that we're going to be available. So for the most part, yes. For the most part, we have Thursday, we have Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I know some people are not comfortable with Sunday. So uh, I'm going to put it out there. What days do you all prefer to have these classes? I'm just going to do a head count. You know, if you want the classes to, you know what, I can do a pool here. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, I think I think this link is for those who have run registered, right? Who have, not registered. So. who have not registered. If you have registered, then you are fine. Let me see. I'm going to send a link for you all to vote. What? And then uh, does the time matter? Like, is it is going to be in, a, in the early mornings or afternoons? When, when, so when you're voting, we should know. Uh, yes, I'll put the times uh, next week. Okay. I'm gonna put this. Uh... Change this bracket six to eight. So why I'm doing this, if you have any any questions, guys, feel free to ask. Do we have anyone here who is your, if, if it is your first time meeting the team, I would like to hear a word from you. Elin, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your IT experience, if you don't mind? We start building those relationships from today, right? Hey, yeah. Sure. Um, um, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Eileen. Basically, I don't have any IT experience. I'm zero. I mean, like zero. Uh, um, I think this class is going to be an interesting class for me, like to help me get knowledge about the IT thing, because I so much like to know about it, though I haven't like settled on career path to that, but I just want to start somewhere, like have a an idea about the whole IT stuff, and then I see how it goes. Yeah, so that's a little bit about me. I'm a novice in IT. I know nothing. Just like what he said about the cloud, I always heard about cloud. So I thought it was like in the cloud. So when he talked to the guy, it's not in the cloud. I was like, oh really? I didn't know. I thought the cloud was like when they say cloud computing. <laughs> I know it's in the cloud. I didn't know it was something as a computer or whatever. So that's that's all about me. Uh, that is that is nice and uh you are doing a good thing to you know just learn i always say knowledge is power right there is yeah. no knowledge that is wasted that's true you never yeah. know you might come in and your goals are gonna change hey i want to start 2021 to become you know a database administrator and this will give you that push right i know a lot of people who have come in just to test the waters but at the end of the day uh they are today database administrators I think I'm seeing somebody's hand up. I think it's my hand. 
Uh, yes, uh, that is Don Manyang. Don Manyang, feel free to say a word. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Brian. Thank you, your team. Um, I just want to, you know, share this testimony with everyone in the, in the forum or on in this uh, introductory class today. Um, again, my name is John Mayan. Um, I am in the IT field now. Um, I got a job here in San Antonio and I've been living in San Antonio for two years. I have known Mr. Brian Chung Wang for the entire two years I was here. Um, I got here, I joined an organization, the Committee of Gentlemen, and he was the president. So that's how I got to know him. He's a great guy. Um, I am really, really impressed about the way he's giving back to this community and giving back to, you know, the Cameroonian community in general and helping people, you know, get closer to their American dream. Um, like he shared his experience, he showed up here and had to do CNA, uh, CNA. You know, I always believe that um, your, your lifestyle or your vision or your, your, your success in America can be very much influenced by who picks you up from the airport on day one when you show up to the United States. But having people like Mr. Brand Chung Wai in our midst, in our community that, you know, uh, you can show in to, you can come to America today. Uh, we're talking about six to eight months to a year. You are making a great income without even necessarily working and making seven, eight, nine, ten dollars an hour like others have done. But it shortens, it gives you so much time uh, to your life, to enjoy that life, to attend to that uh, financial, to, you know, to read that three uh, words that I always use in everything that I try to do. And those that know me, you know, uh, I always talk about DTS, which is you decide, you come and you stop it. This thing that Mr. Brand is doing, there is no magic to it. I think this one. I got into the IT field with zero knowledge. You know, as a matter of fact, I even actually put my hands on a keyboard uh, for the first time when I left Cameroon for Germany. Because when I was leaving Cameroon, you want to write an email, you write it as a letter and go give it to a, a, an IT store, and they type it in for you as an email, they send it. And once you receive the reply, you come back and you ask if I got a letter and they will check your inbox and you print it out and give it to you and you pay money. That's how I got a photo I think came on. I never made any contact with a computer. So I came, I went to Germany. From Germany, I came to the United States and I am here in the IT field. It is a very, very lucrative field. Like Mr. Brian John Wen said, it is very, very wide. The opportunities are uncountable. The jobs are out in the thousands. So we, we, there, there's a shortage of people on the field. If you are in this forum for the first day and you're still scratching your head and then you're missing on something, you got to decide today, you got to commit today and success is guaranteed. I can test it because I procrastinated for too long. I got it and I didn't catch the vision. Why? I got distracted by the job I was doing. I used to work on security in DC. You know, I was thinking that I'm all cool and saying that, you know, I need that overtime hours. And when I work overtime, I see that extra money. But I was asleep. You know, I was just killing my body, you know, reducing my my lifespan, you know, making me looking all beat up every day when I come back from work. But when I got, you know, um, interviewed, when I actually met on my mind, it was three years later, 2013, I finally ended up saying, you know what, this thing is for real. You know, and I it, it, and I just want to share what actually made me to see it is because I saw some little kids that just show up from Camp Shire. They came into the United States from Cameroon. They hadn't been here for too long. And, and they got into the IT field. And it's not like anybody in any field cannot afford any car with choice in the United States, but it takes um, uh, some amount of finances to afford the, the, the kind of certain cars. I do love cars, I like cars, and, you know, I just have a, an admiration for cars. When I saw these little kids, you know, driving uh, Porsche Panameras, I asked a friend of mine, you know, are they dealing in drugs? Are they money uh, job dealers or what are they doing? And my friend then in Maryland told me that, no, this guy is just graduated from an IT school. So that is how I said, wow, 
this thing is for real. I caught the vision right there, and, and I, I'm not looking behind, and I'm not uh, never look back. So I'm just encouraging anyone just need to come in. And this is so good, it's just two hours of the time. But if you dedicate your your time and your commitment to what Mr. Brad Chongwan is saying, you know, doing all those homework and getting that hands-on, you know, hands-on experience. Whatever thing you're learning on this thing, it's not going to be different what you're doing on the field. As a matter of fact, I will tell you that he's definitely going to even give you more information in school that will work than what you actually be using when you're, you know, your students, your uh, your in your environment, your work. So I encourage everyone in here, don't look back. You know, it is the appointed time, it is the anointed time for you to stick in here and push forward to, you know, become an IT success in the near future. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, uh, the Don. Thanks for always being uh, a motivational speaker. You know, really do appreciate it. So, uh, by experience, um, uh, Brian, yes, please don't mind. I noticed that on Tuesdays, the, the classes there will just be for two hours on Tuesdays and Fridays, two hours each. Uh, yes, so remember earlier I, I, I mentioned that it's going to be between two to three hours. So depending on how things are going, it can always extend. But uh, days like Friday, I know people always have stuff to do. So but at the end of the day, we'll try to, to balance it up. All right. And uh, for those, uh, please, I've just pushed out the survey. Kindly, something should have popped up on your screen. Kindly vote for the days that you prefer the classes to be. We have uh, Tuesdays from 8, I mean, from 6 to 8. We have Thursday from 8 to 11. So please kindly vote. So far, just five people have voted. I think uh, we are more than 21 here. I should be expecting uh, about 15 more votes. Did anyone get the survey on the screen? Hello, Ria. So, so you, you cannot choose two days. You need to choose two days. You have to because choose I'm, your two days. I'm, I'm clicking on, on, on one act to click to, to the, uh, the other space is not highlighting. So I don't know. Oh, it's not letting you? you know, let me click. Okay, so I'm gonna do one day first. It is letting you take just one. So just select the one day, I will take the majority and I'll push out another survey. Then you select your second day, right? That way we all will understand. So the first one, just select the day that you want, understand there are gonna be two days. The first pool, just select the days that you want. Then when I'm done with that, I will send another pool for you all to select the second day. So if you selected Tuesday for day one, or for the first day, then the second pool, you should not select Tuesday again, right? You should select something else. So I just want to get the majority. We are getting there. So we have uh, 11 people voted. Uh, still waiting for a few. I'll give uh, a couple of seconds. Mm, is anyone, is something preventing anyone from voting? Did someone not see it or what happened? Have you voted? I'm just calling names now, trying to get trying to get used to. Elsie, have you voted? Mr. Sunny, Ernesto, Linda, Desmond, Violet, Yamen. I have voted, sir. Okay, perfect. Uh was not voted. I was one of the first five, so. Okay, perfect. So I see we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Please guys, let us be, let us be interactive so we can get it done as soon as possible. So I see seven people have voted for Tuesday, right? I'm gonna take Tuesday to be the first since others are not voting. So I don't expect that Tuesday should be the second again. So do not take, I'm just gonna take out Tuesday from the pool. So we have accepted Tuesdays, from six to eight. I'm gonna end it now. If you have to vote, please go ahead and do that. If not, I'm ending that. All right, perfect. That has ended. Uh,
So I'm going to relaunch this again. Just go ahead and vote, but make sure you take off. Uh, don't vote for Tuesday again. Let me just remove it from the story. Okay. I'll go back to tools. All right. Please don't vote for Tuesday again. I've just sent it again. Disregard Tuesday and just concentrate on a uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three, four. Friday is going. Mr. Brian, excuse me, please. Yes, Marissa. Yeah, the, the schedule does not favor me. That's why I didn't vote. I'll prefer morning, so it's not part of your schedule. That's why I'm a bit confused. So what happened is most of us teaching here, we also work, right? And uh, most of the time mm -hmm. when you're doing a DBA job, you work from five to, you know, I mean, eight to five and stuff like that. So for now, mm -hmm. we don't have any morning, uh, any morning classes. Uh, really sorry about that. And we always like to go with the majority. We try as much as possible to go with the majority. If there is a way that you can fit in your schedule or you want to watch the class videos because all videos are being recorded. You can always watch yeah. the class videos and, uh, you know, from time to time, we can try to catch you up or send you the notes that you can read as well. And uh, okay. that'll be good. So why we are doing this, right? There are a lot of materials on the internet that somebody can just go study and say, hey, I'm going to do it by myself. Yeah, you can do it by yourself, but you need to have that mentor. You need to have someone who will give you that push. You need to have someone who can advise and guide you towards uh, doing the right thing. So that is where Join IT Solution comes in. Okay, we are here to support you. And again, we are not money focused. We are focused in instilling the appropriate knowledge that you need to secure a job. When you have that job tomorrow, that makes us happy, right? So that is, we are not driven by money. We are driven by the help I wanna give. The Indians came into this country uh, years ago. They have supported one another. They trained their brothers and sisters and there is no IT interview that you go today without being interviewed by an Indian person. Just, just saying, we are trying to start bringing that thing. Uh, and I'm very, I'm very proud with the way things are going. You know, like Alan just got his job. He's a database administrator. Akum just got his. A host of others are going to be having theirs in the months or weeks ahead. COVID has not impacted a lot of IT uh, professionals, so we work from home. We have the flexibility of getting multiple jobs. So you all should really start thinking about all of these things. We are here to guide you, and uh, do us a favor. Information is very important. There are some of your contacts who don't have this information. So just kindly share. You know, kindly share this information with others so they can help. We are not pushing anybody to do something. We believe that we can guide you, we can drill you, we can lead you towards the right path in IT. And uh, that brings us to the end. I don't know if Alain will want to close that. So classes are going to be Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays and Fridays. And uh, so by default now, the Friday class is going to be for three hours. OK, the Friday class is going to be for three hours because we have taken Tuesday, which was two hours, and then Friday also. So it's going to just put in your mind that classes are for three hours each day, and we'll round up with this in four weeks. You should be ready to go and write. You should have a good understanding. Uh, fill out the application form so that we can provide you the coursework to start working and how you're going to be joining classes on Tuesday. Uh, it's probably going to be over a Zoom meeting like this, so you all should uh, should get ready. Uh, Alan, you want to take over? Oh yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Brian, and thank you very much for everyone who has uh, made it here today for this orientation. We do hope that we will be seeing a lot, if not all of you, in our class as the course is going to start. Uh, just like Brian has mentioned, please get ready to be committed. It's one month only. If there is anything that the past six to eight months has shown you, me is that your life can really take a drastic turn in that time. So you just need a very short time to really prepare, take, uh, um, make sure that you are con consistent and you're sure in whatever you're doing. 
and you can really see a big change in your life, no matter what short period of time it is. So with that said, um, I don't have anything else to say. Um, just leave one more uh, a time for questions before we can start. Anybody has any questions? Okay, I'll take that as a no, everything was understood, but we are always reachable. You can always reach Brian. Um, you can always reach myself. You can reach Mr. Akum. You can reach Mr. Galabe. We are all always able to help and uh, answer any questions if you have them. All right, with that said, uh, thank you very much once again, and I hope to see you in the upcoming weeks. All right, thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye.